Well, hi, I'm Ken Ham, CEO of Answers in Genesis Creation Museum and the Ark Encounter, and we have a very special announcement for you. Now, before we get to that announcement, I want to introduce to you Martin Isles from Australia. From Australia, yes. So am I, originally from Australia. Oh, of course. <laughs> and Martin, actually, I had a pastor friend in Australia who said you have been a leading Christian voice in Australia for the past few years, in fact, conducted meetings with large numbers of people dealing with the social issues of the day, the state of the church, you know, where, where the culture is at, where people are at. And I have I've followed those meetings and followed what you've done over there. You also are an attorney or lawyer. Lawyer, that's right. Lawyer. Australians call it lawyer, so that's what it's called. And you started a Christian legal firm in Australia? Yes, correct. To defend people with religious freedom cases, so people who get in trouble with the law for living out their faith in some way. And that uh, firm continues to this day. Well, we have organisations like that in America too. It seems like this is a, a national problem and an international problem. Oh, for sure. I mean, it's getting much more difficult for Christians to live out their faith, especially in the public squares. And I think a lot of people who support Answers in Genesis, a lot of Christians across the Western world are experiencing that pressure on speech and conduct. And just real quickly, what sort of topics have you been dealing with as you've been speaking around Australia and speaking in front of thousands, tens of thousands of people? Well, there's a real hunger for the clarity that the Word of God brings to this present cultural moment in which we live. Um, and that's been my whole theme all along. And it's interesting, Ken, I was talking to you the other day uh, and we said, well, the world is changing so quickly and there's so many what we would think of as new ideologies out there that are challenging the Christian faith and what people are thinking, you know, the wokeism stuff and postmodernism and critical theories and all that. And even though the world's changing so much, the answers are still in Genesis. They are. That's a pretty good name, isn't it? It's a great name. It's worked out perfectly. And you started Answers in Genesis 30 years ago because there were answers there that the world needed to hear. And there's a whole bunch of additional answers that have come out since then. Some we didn't ever know that we needed the answer to, like what is a woman? And my job in Australia has increasingly become, and it's just interesting that this happened, has been increasingly about bringing the answers out of Genesis for this present cultural moment. Answers on the gender issue, the sexuality issue, the life issue, the race issue, which is tearing this country apart, uh, the climate issue and the environment, but also those bigger ones around things like um, who is God? What is my identity? Who am I as a human person? Uh, what's the origin of evil? Why is the world as it is? You know, great and sinful at the same time. Well, it was made great, it fell, things like that. So I've been doing a lot of that kind of cultural apologetics. Hey, we need that here in America too. We sure do. You sure do. Well, Americans sure do. That's exactly right. We need it across the rest of Western world. We this do. Is, this is a common problem. It's the same ideas that are afflicting the whole Western world and increasingly the entire globe. And Christians need to be equipped from the Word of God for the truth to answer these challenges. And we have an Answers in Genesis in Australia, and we're going to see it uh, grow markedly here in the future. And actually, we're going to make a big announcement. Are you ready for this big announcement? Uh, yep, I'll, I'm bracing myself. <laughs> okay. The big announcement is that you are making a big change in your life. True. In regard to what you're going to do. So it's sort of got something to do with Answers in Genesis USA and Answers in Genesis Australia. Mm -hmm. So you're going to head up the Answers in Genesis Australia. Correct. And you're going to be working with us here in the USA as well and doing conferences and at the Creation Museum and the Ark Encounter and we'll do conferences in Australia and I'm sure you'll go to other places in the world too. So do you want to talk a bit about that change and what it means to you? Sure, I mean, it's an exciting time. As people know, I'm transitioning at the moment into a new role uh, and it is to come to the United States of America and to work with Answers in Genesis. Uh, the role is Chief Ministry Officer. Uh, three parts to the role, and Ken will correct me if I get any of this wrong. <laughs> but I think the first one is to be involved in the, uh, the leadership and vision of the ministry with yourself and the executive team. It's an extraordinary opportunity with the Ark Encounter, the Creation Museum, the global uh, resources and education stuff that you're doing, uh, and also just a voice to be standing on the authority of God's Word for this present cultural situation that we're in, and giving people clarity and enlightenment and understanding uh, also, though, engaging a lot of ministry, as you, you said, uh, and to help to uh, lead that ministry in a way that meets emerging concerns in the new generation and a changing cultural context, but without losing any of the truth that the answers are in Genesis. Uh, and the Word of God carries both the gospel to change lives, uh, and it also carries the wisdom and the enlightenment and the understanding that we need 
to comprehend and understand the real world as we're encountering it right now. So that's very exciting. I mean, the answers really are still there, and uh, to be uh, involved in that is is, is very uh, is something that I'm really looking forward to. Uh, and also, as you say, to do the international stuff as well. So there's the Australian office, uh, which uh, we will be doing. Some, Australia won't miss out, by the way. People have been contacting me and saying, "Please don't leave Australia. We need you here." Australia won't miss out. I'll do some back and forth, and we'll be doing some stuff over there, uh, and also in other parts of the world as well, where uh, all of this stuff is so important, the United Kingdom, Canada, etc. So really looking forward to the role. It's a great privilege, a great honour, uh, and very exciting. And we have always kept uh, a lookout for younger generation people who can help lead this ministry for the future, and I think just from listening to you even speak now, I think people will be able to say, wow, he, he knows what he's talking about <laughs> and, and understand the issues of, of the day. Uh, you have a lot of videos even on your YouTube uh, channel and uh, people can go and uh, see those and we'll be doing a lot more in regard to making your material available here uh, in the USA and internationally actually and for you to be involved in leadership here for the future and also you know, presenting all sorts of different uh, uh, talks at the Creation Museum, at the Ark Encounter, and internationally as well. So it's an exciting, exciting move for you. Very exciting move. And it means that many of the things I was doing in Australia, and there'll be a lot of Australians watching this who have been following what I've been doing, many of the really exciting things I was doing there, you think of the youth programs, the digital content, uh, I was producing online videos and commentary and doing conferences and talks that were you know, really, really successful to bring that to a global platform. It's, it's very, very exciting and something that uh, everyone's going to, I trust, benefit from and uh, is going to be praying for, that it'll go well uh, and that it will really equip the church and, and reach the culture in, in, in our day. And you know, the Answers in Genesis ministry here in Northern Kentucky, we're actually moving into a new headquarters building at the end of the year. We have our own Christian school, Answers Academy, and you want to very much get involved in education. And we also have an education arm and producing curricula for homeschool and producing curricula for Christian school, and you'll be involved in that as well. And of course, we have the attractions. And then we have our outreach ministry domestically, internationally uh, as well, and then the various books or publications that we produce. Um, I mean, there, there is so much going on here at Answers in Genesis. And with all the staff, the expertise that the Lord has brought in here, it gives us an incredible basis, incredible foundation uh, to be able to then take this message out globally. And you're going to be a big part of that. I trust and pray that I will be a big part of that. But as people will hear, it's a massive opportunity. So the exciting thing for me, I think most of all, uh, in amidst all of this is that we are still dealing with the fact that the scriptures and the word of God have the answers we need for today, both to change lives, to evangelize people, and also uh, to give enlightenment and understanding and clarity for all of us concerning the age in which we live. And to be involved in a ministry like that, I think is extremely exciting and it already exists. And I'm just coming along to add my piece and I trust it's a, it's a great process. You know the good thing about speaking in America? Americans love the Australian accent. Yes. They even tell me, it doesn't matter what you say, we just love to hear saying it. Yes. So I, I don't have to, all I do is get on a plane and say, excuse me when I'm trying to get to my seat and people say, where are you from? <laughs> so I have conversations everywhere I go. <laughs> See over here, we'll just have to advertise Martin Isles from Australia and that'll, that'll be it, that's all we need. <laughs> and I'll get up and speak in slang and they won't understand a word. <laughs> well, Martin, welcome. Thank you, Ken. It's Welcome to Answers in Genesis. We look forward to great relationship for the future and great impact here in America and in Australia and other countries as well as you make this big change in your life. Thank you.